For this activity, you will need the hornworm bio kit. Get a vial of hornworm food, then use a sorting brush to gently move the larvae from the culture cup and into the vial. Place a foam plug in the tube, then snap the lid on the vial and set the vial under a lamp with a 100 watt bulb. Starting around 25 centimeters above the vial, adjust the placement of the lamp until you gain a constant temperature of 27 degrees Celsius. Keep the larvae in a constant light to avoid an extended pupal stage. Observe the larvae eat, grow, and molt over the next two to three weeks, reaching about three inches in length. When a dark pulsating line with nodes appears on the dorsal surface just anterior to the worm, it is ready to pupate. Remove the mature larvae from the vial. Thoroughly wash the vial with hot water and dry it. Do not use soap or detergent. Place the larvae back in the clean vial and cover it with dry inert material such as shredded paper, sawdust, or potting soil until it is half full and replace the foam cap and lid. Next, wrap the vial in newspaper or foil to provide the larvae complete darkness so it can pupate. Pupation should be complete in about seven days. After seven days, open the vial and remove the pupa. Place it on a paper towel in the bottom of the Carolina Butterfly Sanctuary. Provide a crumpled paper towel or branch for the moth to climb on when it emerges. Keep the container and pupa at room temperature while exposed to a normal day and night cycle. The moth should emerge in 7 to 14 days. Once the adult moth emerges, make sure a sugar water source is available. Please note that hornworms are an agricultural pest, so do not release any stage of the hornworm life cycle into the wild. View more care information on hornworms, content links, and products related to this activity at www.carolina.com slash takeaways.